Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and in this video, we're gonna explore 3D LUT Creator, and we're gonna talk about how we can use it, and what exactly is it. So if you've never heard of 3D LUT Creator, it is an application where you can create lookup tables, and if you've never heard of a lookup table before, basically think of it as a color preset that you can apply to your images, and what's great about it, is that you can bring in videos, you can bring in you know images from like Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe, you know Premiere, After Effects, and you can you know have a lot of control beyond what you could have in DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere with the color. So we're, we're going to explore how that works in this uh, tutorial. But basically, you can create your look inside of 3D Luck Creator and easily import it into your editor like Final Cut X or you know Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve and there's a lot of other applications that are compatible with 3D LUT Creator. Before we jump into this video go ahead and download 3D LUT Creator as a free demo. The link is in the description of the video right here where you are on the first tab that you'll see which is the AB tab and I've already brought in an image and to bring in an image is very simple all you have to do is just drag and drop an image into you know your window over here and you're gonna have your image popped up so very simple to do that. So this image on the right was my final color corrected, you know, image that I produced in DaVinci Resolved. And now I want to take this a little step further by making these colors pop a little bit more by, you know, making the ocean a little bit more teal and dragging out the colors on the face to be a little bit more orange. So kind of more of an orange teal look here and just want to show you how you can control this. So what we can do is we can hover over pretty much any of the pixels or any of the colors here. And you can see on the left side here that these um, points are gonna fire up. So if you look over here, how everything's kind of changing, it's kind of letting me know where this color information is at. So if I want to select, say the ocean here, it, we're gonna click here on the ocean and you see that we have one pin over here selected. And what we can do is click this pin over here in our AB tab and as you can see, we can move it around and it's gonna easily isolate colors. And what's very impressive about this is that to do this in like Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, we have to manually select this and isolate it and do a lot of controls but here we can just literally click of a button you know change the colors in any direction that we want so that's amazing so right here we just created an awesome teal look here and if we want to say change the skin tones of our model's face we can click on her head here and we say okay this is basically where her skin tones are lying and we can come over here and we can punch them up if we want and it's a little bit more orange so a little before and after you can click on the compare tab down here and you can see just a little before and after just so from two clicks on the button, we kind of came from this kind of, you know, a little undersaturated, you know, clip to this very nice controlled look within just like two clicks of a button, basically. That's how quick this is. To do this in another software would just take, you know, a little bit of time. So we can even select, say, her blue dress here. And we can, you know, make this a little bit more blue. Or we can always change the color of it if we really want to. But I think more of a blue Taste will go here good. Uh, but I want to go ahead and explore some of these other tabs. So we can go into, say, the volume tab. And this tab is basically going to mess with, you know, your shadows and highlights. So we can come over here and just grab this point and kind of just move it around. We'll see what's going to happen here. And as you can see, the image gets a little bit more, you know, bright, a little bit more contrast. And it's just a really interesting thing what happens here. So, you know, a little bit of interesting control. So we can kind of move this up a little bit. So overall, we'll just kind of move this up by a little bit. See what happens. So that looks cool. So you know her face becomes a little bit more exposed and you create a nice little contrast there so we go into the channel over here and this is going to kind of offset colors so what we can do is kind of move you know the top point around here so you see we can desaturate the reds or we can kind of shift it over a little bit to you know magentas if you want we can always move the blues over and we can also move the greens as well so after a few tweaks we're able to come from you know, this basic image here to more of an isolated, you know, more orange teal here, more in a Caribbean, that's what I feel like. So you're able to just easily manipulate the colors with these three tabs, the channels, volume, and the AB. So of course we have a few other tabs over here, like the CL tab, we have curves, we have 2D curves, and we even have some masking uh, properties available to us. Uh, but we can go into say like the curves over here and we have more options over here. So we can go to saturation over Luma, and we can come over here and kind of curve this out so we can bring down all the shadows and we can bring this down by a little bit of saturation and add another point and curve out the highlights. So what's going to happen is basically all the blacks are going to be black and all the whites are going to be white. 
So just by curving this out. So you have a lot of options. You can do sap versus sap, luma versus sap. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this. And of course, we're not gonna be able to cover everything in this video, but just kind of give an idea of how, what you can do and um, what's possible. So I just dropped up a few more tweaks and let's say we are done with this and we want to export it as a LUT so we can bring it into Premiere. What we can do is go up to File, Export, and we can click on Export 3D LUT File. You can save it in whatever folder that you want to save it in. I'm just gonna come here and save it called like LUT uh, Tutorial. And make sure to save it as a dot cube and click Save. And now we can go over to Premiere. Okay, so here we are inside of Adobe Premiere. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply Luma Tree Color. And if you're using any other application other than uh, Adobe Premiere, go ahead and just search up how you can apply a LUT. Um, but we'll come here, apply Luma Tree Color. Whoops. We'll apply Luma Tree Color. And we go to the basic correction and we go to import LUT. And we'll go to browse. And we'll just go here and import our LUT. Click open. And basically we're gonna be able to apply the LUT very easily and you can see a little before and after just about how powerful this you know application is and how easy it was to use so now this entire LUT is applied over this video clip and we were able to kind of do that within a matter of minutes and of course I was explaining a lot so I probably could have did it about in a minute and if I was going to do this inside of Premiere or DaVinci Resolve it'd be a little bit uh, longer and probably would not get the same results because of how you know 3D LUT Creator calculates data and how it can group it together so this is why it's awesome so for you photo enthusiasts out there, I want to show you how we can take an actual photo from Photoshop and put it inside of 3D LUT Creator and then export that LUT into Photoshop. So let's say we want to make this image colder and darker in the background. And typically, you know, what we do, and I'm not claiming to be an expert in Photoshop, but we would go up to our adjustments window and apply a hue and saturation adjustment. And what we would do is, you know, go to say the green channel and go to the hue and you know, offset it to blue. And what's happening here is, you know, we don't have a large range here and it's, you know, not selecting everything. And if we zoom in here, you can see that it's clunking the data together. And that's terrible. So we would have to come in here and, you know, kind of kind of select a longer, you know, larger range. And still, we have all this clunky data and it's just, it's not good. So we'll, we would bring this over to 3D Lock Creator. So what we can do here is, you know, kind of sample, you know, the greens here. Okay, we kind of get a general idea. It's over here, so we can come and move these over to the blues. And we can select multiple points by, you know, dragging our cursor. And we can bring all these points over to the blue area. And as you can see, the image is automatically colder, and we're not getting, you know, clunky data. So that's awesome. And, you know, we can select the skin over here and warm it up if you want, saturate it by a touch. So we can switch over to the channels tab and you know, kind of manipulate how all the colors are looking. So this will you know kind of bring out the greens in the image a little bit and make them a little bit darker. So it's nice. And then we can move the blues over and we can just you know adjust the channels to where you know we can have a little bit more control over the exposure in the shot. And we go back to the A B tab and we can continue to you know move this around a little bit. Perfect. And now and now just, you know, a few tweaks here. This entire background is a little bit more cool and it's nice. And we still have all that reflections and we still have all the details in the flowers back here. So that's really awesome. We can go to our curves tab and we can always, you know, bring some of that data back in the background and, you know, do kind of like an S curve here. So this is looking good. And of course, we could spend a lot of time exploring everything that's in these tabs and of course, you know, optimizing our image. But just for time's sake, we're gonna go back over to Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how we can export this into Photoshop. So what we can do, so if this is your first time importing over to Photoshop, what we're gonna do is go up to File, Preferences, and you're gonna click on Integration and Photoshop Connection. You're gonna click on the current version of Photoshop that you're using. So I'm using CC 2017 and you, you gotta make sure you have CS6 or above. So just click on your current version, click OK. So click on File, Export, Send 3D LUT to Photoshop. And now we click over to Photoshop, you'll see that our LUT has been applied. And what's great about this is that we can control the opacity of the LUT and we can change the blend mode. So it's really awesome. And we're able to do that in a quick click of a button. So this is from 3D LUT Creator and this was from the original Photoshop. And you can see that you know, 3D LUT Creator is just incredibly intuitive to use. 
So I hope you guys found this video insightful. And remember, you can download a free demo of 3D LUT Creator. I will provide a link in the description of the video. So for my final opinion on 3D LUT Creator, I think it's an amazing application that we can easily integrate into our color workflow for photos and for video. It doesn't require you know, a lot of knowledge to use this. I basically picked it up and I was already ready to go. I didn't take me a lot, long time to understand the interface. I still have a lot of things to understand with the tools. I know there's a lot in this application that I have not explored. So as I learn more, I'll probably post more tutorials on 3D LUT creator on how to create amazing imagery. But in the meantime, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.